Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to mirror your Moto E4 screen to your TV using a Chromecast. Okay, now a Chromecast is a little device, um, it's an HDMI. Uh, device you plug into the back of your TV it costs $35 or you can sometimes catch it on sale for cheaper and it basically allows your phone to talk to any TV that is an HDMI or a TV that has an HDMI port on it you will need home Wi-Fi to do this so you will have to have your own home internet if you don't have it uh, you won't be able to use the Chromecast okay um, so again, link in the description on where you can get uh, Chromecast. Um, and what we're gonna do is go to the Play Store and you're gonna do a search for Google Home. We're gonna download this app. I'm just gonna hit uh, install. This is the icon, what it looks like. And once it's downloaded, um, you do wanna make sure that your Moto E is on Wi-Fi. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast because they do need to talk to each other. We're gonna hit open. Accept. You can skip the location permission, you don't have to do that. Sign in, use whatever Google account you have on the phone. If you don't have one, make sure you sign into a Gmail account or create a Gmail, it's free. And now we're in the app. We're gonna hit menu. We're gonna hit cast screen. And then hit cast screen slash audio here. And uh, here the name of your Chromecast will come up. Usually this will say like, Chromecast or and they'll have numbers next to it. I went in and renamed my Chromecast recess So that's why it says recess, but you'll see the name of your Chromecast here Go ahead and tap on that and now Tilt the camera up and Now our screen is mirrored to the TV. Let's clean it up so you can see it better So now anything I do on my phone it will show up on the TV. I can go to YouTube for example and you can find a video, you can turn your phone um, sideways and then it'll, it'll fill up the screen. And the cool thing is you don't necessarily have to um, fully mirror your phone right to the TV. For example, if you're gonna play a YouTube video, you may still wanna use your phone, uh, so you don't wanna keep it in the mirroring mode. So I'm gonna show you what to do so you can play a video but still use your phone. Uh, but just to show you, this is how you fully mirror the screen. Like let's say you wanted to show someone like pictures, from a trip or you know show them a new game you're playing or something like that like that's when you would use like the full mirroring or maybe you have other reasons of when you would use it but other than that um, uh, I'm gonna show you another way to mirror your screen so that you can um, watch your video on the TV and still do other things on the phone so to unmirror the screen we're gonna go to Google Home go back to that app and we're gonna go menu. So let me change the view here. We're gonna go menu, uh, cast, cast screen audio, and then we're gonna hit disconnect. So now it'll stop mirroring, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to like YouTube, for example. And let's say I wanna play this video, or actually I don't wanna play that one. Let's find maybe this America's Got Talent video. So let's pause it and in the upper right corner, you'll see this little icon. This is the cast icon um, And when you tap on that It'll give you the option Sorry, it's I'm not hitting it properly There we go When you hit the cast option, it will automatically play the video on your Chromecast so now I can close YouTube I wasn't hitting the button properly. And I can do other things and the video can still play. When you swipe down, this is how you control the video right here through the uh, notification panel. So I can hit play, I can let that play, and I can continue to use my phone and do other things. Look at pictures, go on social media, text someone. I haven't tried out making a call, but I, I believe you can still take a call and it'll continue to play the video as well. So anyway, all this really works through Chromecast. So 
Um, that $35 is well worth the investment to be able to mirror your phone or play videos from your phone to your TV. Um, and again, you do need home internet, so your home Wi-Fi or a neighbor, if you have their password, you can use theirs, um, and a Chromecast, and you're able to mirror your Moto E4 to your TV. So, hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HD Tech videos, and have a good one.